crime after crime, in short, tells the story of the legal battle to free a woman who's in prison and has been there for 20 years and who shouldn't be there. And if you see the film, you'll find out why and all the details of it. But basically, Jamie was so passionate about the film from the moment he saw the DVD. He was like, I want to do your score. We're going to Sundance. You know, <laughs> I'm buying a winter coat, you know. Um, and I guess uh, if you're a composer and, you know, you want the gig, that's, that's the right way to do it, is just impress upon the filmmaker that you are just head over heel, heels um, passionate about the project and that you want to do it no matter what, no matter how, no matter who. And uh, he just stuck with it and hammered at me and hammered at me until we were working together. And, um, and I'm sure we'll probably talk about process more later, but you know, it was, it was trial and error and we kept trying until there were no more errors and we're super proud of the score. The one Im most important thing in my life so far as a composer and, and just a music maker period is that I had to get over the fact that, that I'm, just, I'm just not for everyone, you know? And, and, and I had to accept that. And, and when I accepted that, I'm, uh, you know, when I present music to people, if they like it, all the greatest things in my life that have come, um, all the most successful things that I've been able to do have just come in easy. They've come, I mean, not, not the process has been easy, but, but uh, how they've shown up in my life. So I just get out of the way and do what I do. And if they, and if they like it, great. If not, I'm not for everyone.